Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's go ahead and get into it. Uh, let's see what Spirit has for you guys for this month of October 2020. want to wish you guys a very, very happy Hollows Eve. I hope that um, you guys are putting or sending out positive energies as that's something that we're currently highly needing. Um, so anyways, let's get right into your reading, Taurus. All right. All right, Taurus, right at the center, you have the moon card. There's some things that have been hidden or have been kept in the background from you. And I think that uh, coming into, I want to say, the third week of October, um, those things behind the scenes are coming more clear. Now, this could represent, um, this could represent people's, you know, intentions. Uh, this could be, you know, a friend that you are very connected to, um, which could be a water sign. It could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio type of energy. But this is a person that is very much around you. And this is, there is like a double intention here. I feel that for some of you guys, what they're saying is don't, you know, don't put your business out there. Don't, if, you know, I don't know if you guys have experience, like when you have people that usually call you and check up on you and they're like, how's your life going? Da, 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 da. And they don't really have a tendency of telling you what's going on in their life. They just want to know what's going on in yours. Yeah. Keep yourself from, you know, oversharing information. Uh, there is a saying for us, um, which is basically, uh, what 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 it represents that saying is if you don't let people know what your next move is you're not giving them the opportunity to salt your name meaning you're not giving them the opportunity um, to bring negative energy towards you so some things are best kept to yourself especially if we're talking about plans of the future now you do have the nine of swords here and the nine of swords does speak about a lot of anxiety and worry you do have the eight of swords here. So there is a lot of mental blockages that you may be experiencing. For some of you guys, this could represent um, really feeling like feeling like there are certain things that you need to change about your life, whether it be relationships, whether it's the people around you, or whether it's your type of lifestyle. And what they're saying here is that you feel very restricted at the moment, or there's going to be a moment in October where you're going to feel like you're stuck, like there's a lot of stress around. Um, and, and again, this could be for some of you guys, it could be if you're on the pursuit of a new beginning. Um, if you guys are dealing with school, if you guys are dealing with college, anything like that, there is like, I do see them really stepping it up and challenging you guys. But I think that at the end, you're going to be able to find like you are stressed for nothing um, because what they're saying here is that this is necessary in order for you to either complete some type of uh, cycle that you're currently dealing with or it can also represent um, being able to or experiencing I want to say experiencing the challenge of understanding how powerful your mind is uh, so what I mean by that is what they're saying is, uh, what I'm hearing is, yes, you're being challenged. Yes, you're, you're being pushed to the limit. But on the other side, there is wisdom that comes with that and it strengthens you or it gives you the strength, the push that you need to really make changes in your life. Now, you also do have the devil card here and the death card. So again, we're talking about ending cycles. We're talking about ending toxic behaviors. We're talking about... Um, the completion or the acknowledgement of, yes, this is a trait that I need to uh, work through. For some of you guys, it could be self-sacrificing. It could be that you have a tendency of putting other people's needs and desires before your own. Uh, for some of you guys, it could be sacrificing your happiness to make other people happy or those around you. And you are coming to the understanding that you're never going to be able to make people happy. So you have to cut the cord or cut those ties of self-sacrificing in order to acknowledge that sometimes it's necessary to be selfish. Why? Because we got to take care of ourselves before we take care of other people. Now you do have the tower card here. So I definitely do see 
major transformations for you guys. For some of you guys, this could represent dealing with a Capricorn, a Scorpio, or like I said initially, water energy, Cancer, uh, Pisces, or Scorpio. What they're saying is that there is a situation, and I feel when the tower comes out, it usually indicates it has already happened or you're currently going through it. Um, but there is definitely something that came out of nowhere that was very unexpected to you that is bringing some type of ending or some type of conclusion. Now, with the devil card, it could be a toxic relationship. It could be that things start to come to surface, things that have been kept still in the hidden that come to surface and you realize or there's an aha moment where you know there is no looking back. Like we have to accept what it is even if it comes at the cost of ending this connection because you cannot continue building sand castles when the water's already hit the sand you see what i'm saying it's going to continue crumbling so what they're saying here is again know the power that you have taurus and it's not so much about how um the things are happening in our lives ultimately it's to the best of your interest why because it's bringing transformation because it's breaking sometimes we have to break what we think is solid um it has to come down so that we can be able to restart to refresh to renew to start something new and to have stronger um to have stronger uh foundation to build on to be able to have something that is more long lasting so again don't be surprised if there are certain things if you guys are in a relationship if there are certain things that start to come to um to a head and you can no longer ignore you can no longer sweep under the rug you have to deal with with what's happening because it's spirit guiding you to understand that there is a new beginning ahead for you that there's a new start that there is happiness uh, that you could potentially have but you have to take action you cannot when i see the tower to me it represents spirit has been guiding you for a very long time but you've refused either to change you refused either to learn or you've refused what the warning signs have been there all this time so then the you know in the spirit realm or uh you know what is this saying um in the spirit realm or at the universe this is the universe saying okay you know what you don't want to listen so it's time for me to create some type of earthquake some type of uh, something that's going to shake you to your core but you can no longer ignore that so uh, ultimately a lot of people fear the tower i don't see it as uh something that is to be feared this is just a part of life and it is necessary for us to sometimes be shaken to be able to see really what's being behind the scenes what's being hidden what's been do what's other people have been doing against us or uh, see people's true intentions now you do have the nine of pentacles i feel that for some of you taurus you guys have a fear of being alone I think that that's the reason why when you get in a relationship, it's so difficult for you to end it or it's so difficult for you to give up. You guys obviously are stubborn. You can't give up. It's not in your nature, but it is necessary sometimes because only through singlehood or only through taking some time alone can we truly find ourselves, nurture ourselves and give all that unconditional love that you have to give to someone else. You pour that back into yourself to ultimately heal everything that you've either gone through or that people have done to you. And once you are, you know, like I said, once you pour all that love into yourself, you are whole. Therefore, you no longer need anyone by your side. So you are more particular in the choosing of partners. And I think that's what's very necessary for some of you guys. I do see a lot of confusion. So I think that this month of October, there's going to be a lot of things coming out in the open. This could be in regards to your relationship. This could be in regards to um, relationships and connection with family members as well where you know that it's gotten to the point where you have to pretty much cut those ties 
choose your peace over uh, you know chaotic type of energy or toxic energy the seven of cups represents having a multitude of choices to make so i think that's the reason why you're going to feel a little bit overwhelmed taurus uh, for this month of october but remember ultimately what spirit is telling you here is that we have to shake things up for you because obviously up until now you haven't wanted to take either um the decision or you haven't wanted to take the reins and knowing exactly what it is that you have to do but you've been digressing or you've been trying to ignore uh the the decisions or the changes that you need to make which are quickly coming uh to a head so i wish you guys the very best i hope that uh, you guys can uh, believe in yourselves and have faith in yourselves to be able to make decisions that are necessary and that are always going to be to the best of your interest. Even if sometimes we have to be, like I said, a bit selfish in putting your needs and your sanity or your mental health uh, before anyone else. I wish you guys the very best and we'll see each other soon. Bye.